Yeah, really satisfying, you know, just obviously conditions dictated what style of game it was going to be and um, yeah, we, we wanted to be better and uh, improve the sort of uh, the work in defence and uh, we wanted to, you know, be really good at uh, defending in the wet as well and to hold them to zero and then play down the other end and sneak a couple of tries when possible. That was, uh, yeah, it was a really pleasing game. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the point. That's you know to sit to be, be really. I felt like we were really comfortable at two nil for a long period of time. We had to defend our line for for long periods of time, and to just to I felt the calmness for the first time this year, just to stay and and defend our line and be happy with two nil and kick the ball back and then look for an opportunity at a different time and. Um, and that's the bit is, if we didn't do that, then we would have offered momentum, but we didn't. They had field position, but they didn't have momentum. There's a difference. And we uh, continue to control that. Um, and we did it. You know, lots of different things that you'd like to improve, but 14 nil, yeah, I'll take that at the, at, uh, in Auckland. Yeah, I mean, that's the easy part of a coach. You can discuss it. It's hard for these boys to go out and do it. That's the, that's the real difficult part. And, the, the, you know, I can ask for it, but it takes a really good group and an honest group of players to go out and say, OK, I'm going to forget all the pretty stuff and I'm going to dig in there and, and get work done. And I'm not sure how I'm going to feel, but I'm just going to do it until we get a sniff of an opportunity and then we'll take a trial and then we'll get back to our work. And that's what they did. Um, so it's just, you know, really proud of the the players. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, obviously, uh, you know, Shans is probably the one. They still had their spine in order. They've, you know, chosen that to run through their, you know, nine seven six. You know, they had a very experienced one, so they, you know, they had a, very, a lot of experience there. Tohu Harris is probably the, the, the key out in the way that they've decided to play their attack this year, so he was a big out for them in, in the way they wanted to move the ball, and Aiden tried to do that. But having, Fenua, um, having Tohu doing that with Aiden outside him, that's, that's a real benefit. So they missed that part of it. Um, but a lot of the raps have been around Wade and, and Sean, as they should be. Um, and you know, I thought we did well on those guys tonight. Uh, I don't know. The shoulder um, sort of he felt uh, probably a ligament injury there, so that was disappointing. Um, so we'll get scans tomorrow on that. And Jared, was he just rested or was he missing an injury? No, nah, he had an injury from Manzac Day, so he had his his back there, which was. Uh, you know, he, he did. I, I took him off late in Anzac Day, um, and then it just didn't recover well enough. You know, he trained okay, but it wasn't enough to risk him in that five days. He's had a couple of injuries from that um, at the start of the year, so I thought Lodgy was outstanding tonight taking his role. He led from the front there. Jared, is there a chance for next week? Yep. And uh, Daniel Tupo, any sort of development on this injury? Yeah, he'll be a month at least. That He, he won't be any time soon there. Nice moment there for Satili. I think you mentioned yesterday that I think it was his first game for the Roosters here um, to get a try yeah. after all he's been through. Uh, nice moment. Yeah. Yeah, it was such a... I said coming back from an injury, usually it takes a while to get going, whereas a big rap to you know, Adam Bentley, our rehab guy, and him and Billy Smith have been working really hard. And the way that they've trained, the, the way that they've been able to play and time have been really, really good straight back after an injury. So he played front row today for us. It's not his position, but we wanted him on the field and he really nailed it today. And then obviously, you know, he, he called for front rower calling for the kick of, he won't like me saying that, but calling for the kick off Brandon and then Brandon's instincts to kick it through there, that 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 was a big gap to make at that stage. It wasn't the magic from Brandon. What have, you, what have you thought of him since he's come to the club? Yeah, yeah, he, he, he was bought, uh, a lot of energy to us, so he's you know his runs out of dummy half have been really key for us. 
I feel like each game he's got better, he's understanding. It takes a while to understand a new club system. Um, and he's loved it and he's worked his way in and, and the boys enjoy playing in and around him and, and playing off him. And um, yeah, he's starting to really imprint his runs, his kicks, his early kicks into the game. And Joey Rando, is he a sort of medium to long term option at, at, uh, at Yeah, he's a long term option as a, as a player for us. As far as you know, that role, um, yeah, that's just a, that's more of a week to week. Obviously, I've got three really good halves there, so um, we'll see.